Hello everyone, uh, my name is Vlad uh, Klein. I'm from Zagreb, from Croatia. I'm Chief Technology Officer in Stellar Team. Uh, and uh, my role is to control and manage all technological processes inside the team. So we can uh, build all of these things and put it on the lower surface. <coughs> I will show you a presentation about what we need and what we have to do. Okay, <coughs> first of all, uh, these are G uh, GLXP emission requirements. GLXP, as you know, means zone rectifiers. So, what we need to accomplish the mission? We need uh, several things. First, of course, we need the rocket. No rocket, no moon ride. It's obvious. So, the other thing is, after we have rocket, uh, uh, we need to have a communication provider. So, uh, all the time we need to, uh, to communicate with uh, rocket, with spacecraft, with vendor, and after all, the our rover on the surface. After we have communication, we, of course, we have to make a lander, to make a rover, and finally, we need to have a mission control center. This is uh, some bigger room from where uh, mission will be managed. <coughs> Okay, rocket launch provider. We have uh, right now uh, two scenarios about rockets. What we need from rocket? Uh, you in this world uh, you cannot buy a rocket because ro rockets are treated like a strategic weapon, and those countries uh, and companies uh, who uh, which have rockets will not sell you rocket, but they will uh, sell you a uh, service of launching some satellite or space stuff or anything else. We do not need uh, some extra big rocket, I don't know <coughs> for who knows, but uh, the biggest rocket ever made was Saturn V, and the weight of this rocket was uh, about 3,000 tons. We need a smaller rocket, so we have a minimalistic version and an ideal version. Minimalistic version is, is the smallest possible rover we need to uh, achieve our mission. Uh, this rover should have about 2 to 4 kilos. We, uh, it is impossible uh, to make a lighter rover. Why? Because the space is a very aggressive environment. Uh, later on, there should be another presentation about aggressive environments in the space. So I, I will tell you later about this. To have a rover of two or four kilograms uh, on lunar, lunar surface, <coughs> the projected liftoff weight of this rocket is about <laughs> 50 to 100 tons, believe it or not, but this is it. This is how the things are going. Those Saturn V rocket for Apollo astronauts from 3,000 tons of liftoff weight uh, finished with 110 tons in low Earth orbit. And this 110 tons uh, went to the moon with astronauts. So ideal version is something we will uh, we would like to have capable to deliver 25 to 50 kilos lower, and uh, s such a rocket will uh, weigh about uh, two, uh, 200 tons. And with these 200 tons, uh, we can inject into moon's orbit uh, around 400 kilos of spacecraft technology. This is about rocket. Communication. <coughs> there is no GSM devices in space, cell phones, 
there is no wireless internet <coughs> in space. So uh, we have to find out the way how to communicate with spacecraft. So uh, we have uh, several phases of flight from lift off, in orbit, translunar space or translunar injection, and finally lunar space and lunar landing. In each, uh, in each of these uh, mission phases, uh, we should use another technology. Unfortunately for, for us, uh, NASA promised uh, to all uh, GLXP team, uh, teams that they will provide a deep space network facility. Uh, this uh, deep space network facility has uh, uh, doses of antennas all around the world and they are capable to extract uh, extremely low level signal from very long distances of very deep signals. <coughs> this is about communications. After that, to make a landing. So this is some sketch of our future lander. We should build. You can see this is antenna at the top, solar panels, fuselage, main engine, servo engines, and of course, our legs. <coughs> Thanks to our uh, team member, Frederick Shukas, who is sitting right there. He made this uh, simulation. But this is the uh, startup concept of our future lander. <coughs> the, the mission of for lander is to deliver rovers on a lunar surface. Our conventional rover, rover and rover for Mr. Ursh. And uh, <coughs> after all, when a rover is uh, crawling over the lunar surface, a uh, rover will communicate with Earth over the lander. Because uh, lander, uh, the rover doesn't have uh, such ability uh, to communicate with Earth with uh, high data rates. Because it is impossible physically to, atto to attach high, high gain antenna Okay. <coughs> uh, of course, this is our rover. This is a startup model. You can see uh, very large wheels. So this rover is maybe not so big as this picture <laughs> is, but uh, uh, the, the main hazard on lunar surface is lunar surface itself. It's called the regular. Uh, so to be sure that this rover will not stuck in the, uh, in the lunar surface, we need a very large wheel. So minimal diameter of wheel is around 30 centimeters. So uh, why rover? Rover is key of mission. To accomplish a GLXP mission, uh, we need to broadcast video streaming uh, signal in real time. And <coughs> this is all. And Rovo uh, had to pass around 500 meters. If we do it, we are winners. <coughs> and this is the last requirement from the technical sector inside uh, Team Stellar. This is mission control center. There is no picture, but you can remember, I'm sure, pictures of the, those uh, big halls with tens, maybe hundreds of people watching their terminals, uh, observing uh, systems on the spacecraft, uh, so on. And uh, our intention is to not have uh, big halls, uh, hundreds of staff or employees, they are watching. We are going to uh, other conceptions as uh, not too many uh, staff, compact working environment, and uh, we think that uh, we should achieve this mission with maxima, uh, with maximum number of people, about 10 people that will observe all systems. So, uh, rocket operations will be managed from 
rocket mission control. And of course, rocket operation uh, uh, is not under our jurisdiction, but we will just observe the proceed of flight. Okay, just a few more things. So, this is the te technical sector schema. As I told you, rocketry and landing division, rover division, communications, navigation, and data, mission control, and all of these divisions have uh, has its uh, subdivisions. <coughs> so, rocket and laser division are crucial part of vital technical schema. They are transport vehicles that have to deliver rover or lunar soil in one piece. Leaders of this division should collaborate with rocket launch provider and lander manufacturer. The rover division prepare basic rover models. So we said we, we want to have two models. Calculate electrical power budget, solve thermal management issues, build construction that will be strong enough to survive mooncast, and create data network for data transmission. <coughs> Communication, navigation, and data division are backbone layer of all of this. So we have to create a data network from any to any other node, discover position and attitude of spacecraft, and together present what to visualize and store all data during all mission phases. <coughs> mission control division. Design and make mission control center hardware-based equipment. Design applications for terminal and users. Create standard, non-standard, and emergency procedure. And prepare training model simulation and train staff depending on their roles for mission. And of course, after all, manage and control mission progress. Ah, this is all. So thank you very much. If someone of you has any question.